hey virgo welcome back guys so we're gonna go ahead and tap into your weekly message we're gonna see what's coming towards you guys this week what will you need to prepare for and what is the possible outcome guys before we get started please don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell also these readings are timeless general love readings so they may or may not resonate with you please take what does leave the rest behind time is fluid so whenever you find this reading you are meant to hear it and don't forget to check your sun your rising your moon and your venus sign for more additional clarity and messages regarding your situation so we're going to go ahead and get started here we're going to see what is this overall energy for my virgos i feel somebody's really stuck in their thoughts lately because it's like as i was saying your whole spiel i didn't even remember if i had finished the whole thing it's like i, I kind of zoned out there so let's see here. We're going to get started with this reading. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy here? Are you, are you thinking about a reunion and a reconciliation here? A missed opportunity with the Four of Cups energy in the reverse? Virgo, I feel like you're, you're in your thoughts about someone from your past. Okay? You might be missing this person a lot because the Four of Cups energy in the traditional tarot and she does look sad here though like if you really look at her she does look sad but in the traditional tarot deck it's a man sitting at a table and he looks like he's just drinking while someone's trying to serve him a drink i feel that someone is um really sad about a connection that that fell apart in the recent past and is wanting to achieve this reunion and this re reconciliation here because the six of cups energy is soulmates being reunited and coming together and really seeing the value and the respect and the beautiful energy of this connection. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here? The Magician in the Reverse. So I'm hearing right person, wrong time. Okay? So there was this energy of someone that came in. This person was your Nine of Pentacles, your pre-empress. He or she had all the qualities that you desire in a relationship. Beautiful, sexy, abundant, stable, outgoing, healthy, non-toxic. Like there was everything that you wanted in a relationship this person presented to you. And then out of nowhere, it like things went wrong. Magician in the reverse. Like it went from it being a beautiful energy, like the, the day full of su the sunshine and happiness. And to it going to this very dark negative energy. You got the hermit here. It's like, it felt like, you know, it felt like it went from a beautiful sunny day to a very dark, nasty day. When the day, the day you and this person had an argument or had a problem. What is this magician in the reverse for Virgo and the person that is on their mind universe? You got the hangman. And then right behind that you had the justice. So it was like, I feel like this was a very bad misunderstanding between you and this person. It's like, you guys went through this, I wanted to say scuffle, but I don't, I don't mean that somebody put their hands on each other. I just felt like it was a very nasty misunderstanding and it, it just fell apart. You, you were left hanging, but there's justice coming in because I have the death right here. So there is a transformation to this situation that you're currently dealing with okay so you're going you're the reason why this relationship needed to come apart because either you guys had different views on certain values that you just were raised to not be able to set to the side if that makes sense okay these values are very important to you to your family to your overall being and i feel that maybe this person wasn't too inclined to deal with those or just didn't like a certain thing that came out of your mouth but because you were raised like this, it's something that's very important, not only to you, but to your family. But I feel that you and this person had to come apart because there had to be a transformation that had to occur here. There is communication, though. Okay? There is communication from this person. Now, I do, I do got to let you know that in this communication, even though you're going to be completely happy to hear from this person, you do have the potential of shit going left. Okay? With the Six of Swords in the reverse. So if you guys get back into whatever heated conversation you initially broke up about, be mindful that that's going to happen again and you guys are going to get into an argument. Okay? So I'm not saying to ignore the past, 
but approach it in a different energy okay universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy here for virgo and this person the king of cups in the reverse and the ten of wands energy <coughs> i i gotta be honest here i feel that you all haven't been communicating for a minute okay because i do have the two of swords energy here okay it's like there was blockages in this connection. And to be very honest with you, Virgo, I feel that you're going to be in this place wondering if this person even cares about you the way they did in the past. Do they still actually love you? But you're going to be afraid to ask them, okay? Because it's been a while since you guys have been separated. And obviously when this form of communication comes in, it's going to come in out of nowhere. You're going to be happy to hear from this person, but it's not going to feel the same. Because this person never called you by your name. They always called you babe. And they're going to be calling you out by your name. And you're, you're going to feel a little bit weird and out of sorts. And that's going to lead into you overthinking whether or not this person still has love for me. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Is there love in this connection still? You got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Wow. And the Four of Swords energy. I got to be honest with you. I, I don't feel that the love is gone. I just feel that it's not intense as it used to be. Okay? Because you guys went from meeting each other, from hanging out, doing all these things together, literally telling each other that four-letter word right away, I love you. You know, I, I want to be with you. Uh, this, is, this is where I want to be at. But in the midst of this separation, yes, feelings change. Of course they do. They always change when we go into a breakup. You know, it, it, it makes you start thinking... Was this person the one for me? Do they really care about me? Do they really love me? So that, those insecurities come across the board for all of us, not only for you. I feel that if, if, you do, if you two decide to move forward in this connection, it is going to be a while before you guys say that to each other again. But don't overthink it because the reason why this person is possibly holding back from saying I love you or offering this ace of cups or wanting to get into a connection right away is because they're still afraid. You know, they were so happy and abundant with you once upon a time and this ended and you didn't, you weren't the only one that stayed in pain. They also stayed in pain. So I feel that you're dealing with someone who's going to be a little extra careful this time around just because they don't want their heart to hurt. It's snail's pace. I just heard. So they're going to want to take this very, very slow universe, archangel spirit, angel guides and guardians. What is the outcome of this person coming back this week? The three of cups energy. All right, going back to this once again, things are not going to happen as fast as you think, okay? Yes, this person is back into your life. Yes, this person wants to start communication. It may not even be on a daily basis. So Virgo, please don't be discouraged. But the point, the reason why this person is doing this is because they're afraid to take a certain leap of faith and they want to stay comfortable with you. They want to be in a good place before they really take that leap of faith here. The fact that this person does want a reconciliation with you it's very clear they're just not presenting it right now okay yes your overall energy is wanting to get back into this connection did i miss an opportunity with this person but you're also being told to use your intuition in this situation because for whatever apparent reason you and this person already broke up once before in the past and that was painful in itself so this time around before we go through that whole cycle of breaking up and not talking to each other and whatever we're not universe is wanting you to take your time Take it slow because at the end of the day, what is meant for you will come to you. Okay, four of pentacles energy. Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to what happened to you and this person in the recent past. Stay in this vibrational energy and this temperance energy. Go with the flow in this situation because that's what's really needed here. Understanding and flow. Okay, in the past, everything went so fast. Like you guys went from meeting each other to literally practically almost living with each other. Okay. There's this energy of taking your time this time around. Do they want to reconcile? Yes. Do they want to take this leap of faith with you? Yes. Do they want to tell you I love you again? Yes. Do they want to move towards calmer waters? Most definitely. They're just making sure that you've changed. You're making sure that they've changed. Be patient with this process because what you want, you will get. You just got to be able to work with this person and the current energies of today. Okay? All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. 
And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.